From the depth of the cosmos are stars that beat like a heart. They are called Cepheids. Astronomers can tell their distance from the rate of their pulse because a Cepheid's luminosity is related to how quickly it blinks. Cepheids are celestial beacons that help measure some of the most distant objects in the sky. Cepheids beat in globular clusters, collections of stars that hover outside the main part of our galaxy. Globular clusters are too remote to measure by the parallax method, but by measuring the pulse of a Cepheid within it, a cluster's distance can be worked out. The observation of Cepheids has helped map the structure of the galaxy. The Sun isn't at the center, but two-thirds of the way to the edge. At last, the Sun was dethroned from its place at the hub of the universe. But there was another surprise. Observers have seen it since ancient times. It's a fuzzy patch in the constellation of Andromeda. Near or far, no one could tell. Then in 1923, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble realized he was looking at Cepheids in Andromeda's outer reaches. So faint, they were far beyond the stars of our own galaxy. Hubble was looking at another galaxy, more than two million light years away. As Hubble peered deeper into space, he found more and more galaxies of every shape and size. Hubble unveiled an expanding universe. Galaxies traveled outward in all directions. The farther away they were, the faster they appeared to recede. The evidence was in their light. It shifted toward the red end of the spectrum, a sign of lengthening wavelengths. The wavelengths were stretching because the space between the galaxies was stretching. The galaxies were relentlessly moving apart. Edwin Hubble had stumbled upon the origins of the universe. His brilliant observations revealed an ever-expanding universe, a universe that may have had a single moment when time and space began, the Big Bang.